happening? This is Dylan Berry, Bomb Pop TV. I'm with my man Thomas Gold here in the Redbury Suite in Los Angeles, California, yay? And we're getting ready for the big night on fire tour. Five days ago, what were you doing? Tuesday and Wednesday I was in the studio here in LA by myself, just mixing stuff and working on, on some new music. Which studio? Um, Melrose Studios. It's, um, oh yeah. It's a cool place. It's like they run like five rooms mm -hmm. and they have everybody in there. Even Skrillex, they had like a big session going on there. The, the coolest part of the, about those studios is the kitchen, right? Because you're working, you go to the kitchen and then there's Skrillex making a bagel. Yeah. You know? For example. And then you go in and you write a song about the bagels. Yeah. 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 Thursday, I had like a kind of a day off. I did a little bit of preparation for the tour and for my radio show. And I was on emails and did some um, phone calls with Europe because of the time difference, you have to do them in the morning. And yesterday, I went to San Diego uh -huh. and I played um, at, a, at a club there. And I just flew back in, in the afternoon today. And so that was my four or five days. Tonight at Create Club, this is your single release party. Is that what this is? It's um, part of my single release tour. Let's name the it like On that. Fire tour. On Fire right. tour, which is, has been going on since beginning of March, and it's going all through um, April. And I have like nine shows, nine more shows to go. I love Create. I love the LA crowd here, and it's my fourth or fifth time playing at Create. And um, I'm really uh, pumped for that. And I have special guests. I have Ricky Miela performing our track live Who on stage. Who are on your single, right? Exactly. On fire. Exactly. Fantastic. And then I have Helena Legend playing with me as a special guest. And uh, yeah, we have a pretty good setup and I, I'm excited. You're evolving the sound of this next record. Let's touch on that briefly. Um, this is a new kind of record for you. It's actually the first time I did a real radio version of a track. I mean, real radio. It's not a club radio edit or something right. like that. It's it's we did it from scratch, and we have a, a real cello playing there. We have real acoustic guitars, and the drum set is totally different from the club mix. Uh -huh. It was a, an exciting experience for, for me, and but that track was the right thing because Rick and Miela, they are coming from that kind of area. They are like right. used to do live performances with instruments and stuff. So. And I was like, hey, let's try something out. And, and, and even though it's on Revealed, la the label, which is not known for that kind of sound, and they were like into that idea. And they said, hey, yeah, let's do that. You've got a team, you've got a PR agent, you've got a manager or two, right? Yeah. You've got two. a Learjet, four Hummers, um, a submarine. Six houses. Six villas. houses, Will Smith's personal phone number, and like that, right? Yeah, and my own burger restaurant. You do? Yeah, yeah. With, take with it the with me. Right? It's, on, it's on a van, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Who's that actor guy? Donnie? Is it Donnie Wahlberger? Yeah. Anybody know? Yeah, the whole Somebody family. Knows. The whole crew Donnie? Yes, Donnie. So when you sit down and you grab your kick drum and you put it through the humping, bumping machine, side chain, whoop, whoop thing, right? Nice what do you do once you got it all tracked out and everything? Do you kick it to somebody to mix for you? Do you do the whole thing? Do you do the full Monty? Normally I do the, the full thing, uh -huh. um, uh, but lately with all the touring and when I'm running out of time, I, I get some help from mixing engineers or I have one mixing engineer in Europe, for example, but I, I get him like 90% of the track and he just tweaks the little, the last thing because sometimes to finish a track takes, take, can take me three, four weeks because I'm going back and forth with the sound uh -huh. and I'm really tweaking the smallest details and this guy, who, he really understands what I'm looking for, what kind of sound. So he's not changing the sound of the track, he just makes sure that everything is like 100%. It's that last 10% that is, takes the longest. Right? Sometimes it's even the last 5 or 4%. Yeah, push it over the line. But that's, like, that's, that's the thing where it's really interesting, you know, where you can really hear a little difference and all these little tweaks, they add up to, to a, a bigger sound, a warmer sound, and make it sound good in the club and on the radio and wherever you play it. Let's talk about how you create your music, right? What's the gear you use that's your go-to piece of gear? Actually, or basically, I work on my laptop all the time. This is what this is my studio. I take right. it with me wherever I go. I, when on I'm the back, Learjets in the Hummers. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. And when I'm going back to my studio, uh, Villa, as you just Villa, said, yes, yeah, in with the the France or 15 whatever. studios in there. Uh -huh. Um, I just plug it in and plug my lap laptop in and I have all my elbow gear there and I can use that. And I work on Logic X. Okay. 
and I use like a ton of plugins. I use basically everything you can get. I'm, I'm a geek, you know, like when it comes to the technical stuff, I always try out new things and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a collector when it comes to contact library. Yeah, that's my basic setup. I have a ton of plugins and soft synths. Okay, let's talk about real quick career. There's a lot of people that wish they were you, a superstar international DJ with, with Humvees and Learjets and Villas. What are the steps they should take to get up on the big stage? First of all, I would say be passionate and uh, love what you're doing. You have to really embrace the music and you know, whatever you do, what kind of music it is, you really have to love your <laughs> shit, you know? Yeah. And that's what I always find out. And then take your time and be patient. Uh, sometimes okay. it's, it takes a while until you get to where you want to get. And I had to go through that process and I, I've been learning a lot of things and, and it took a while. And you have to be aware of the fact that you have to be like working 24-7. You have to have a plan, a roadmap and work your ass yeah, off. At least you right? have to put all your energy into that. And, and the more you put into that, the closer you get to realizing your dream or whatever. I mean, it's, it's possible, but sometimes it's, it's hard work. It's not just going on stage and flying around in the world and see all these places. There's a lot of stuff behind it, spending hours and hours in the studio talking to people, getting feedback from people, then put on, putting your stuff on the socials. Right. And you know, there's a lot of stuff in the background and then, and then evolving your sound and getting your sound right and finding that little niche. You have to have kind of a signature sound to yourself. What social media should we send people to just thomasgold.com? Yeah, I'm, I'm on Instagram, it's, it's huh? Thomas Gold, and then I'm on Facebook, it's DJ Thomas Gold. Um, I'm on Snapchat, I use Twitter, so I'm here on all over the place. I have my website, thomas-gold.com. Come by, you're say on, hello. Now you're on the bomb pop, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, thank you, bro. Thank you very much, I my appreciate pleasure. it, man. Good insights. Bomb Pop TV, Dylan Berry signing off. About to go to the show. A lot of people say, you know, how, how did you make it? How did you break in? Right. We went on MySpace. Then we put stuff on YouTube, so we would do skits, uh, funny stuff. First thing I said, what's the scariest thing? Boom, stand-up comedy.